What up, what up, people? Welcome, welcome. My name is Divine. Um, the boss of Ryan Forex. Uh, now, I uh, just want to look into the chat for some. Getting ready for next week. Getting ready for next week. Wait, 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 waiting for next next week. So, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Hello, hello, hello. Let's look at what we got. Uh, still holding Euro USD. Still playing well. Euro AUD as well. Still holding. Target is right here. Target uh, USD as well. za as well still playing still playing all right all right all right nzd let's look at nzd what nzd is doing what up what up what up how far now No, the one not just my this thing, my 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 private analysis. I want you to join a one person for this thing. Group we talk to you, we will like a matter of analysis. So, so as you say, anyway, if you join, you want to do analysis there. So alpha. Anyway, this one to the stream live for you too as well. I don't just link the stream live as well for you too. So alpha, alpha. Manjo de talk less, I don't give person belezo. I'm sick. <laughs> no, see me. I talk this nonsense. I don't forget say this thing you go live, stream live on YouTube. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what we have. NZD, NZD USD, one of the pairs that we will be looking during the week, looking to trade during the week. That's Great British Pounds NZD, that's what we should be looking, looking at now. So I'm expecting it to go up from, go up from where it is now. Looking from the monthly time frame. Expecting it to do something like this. Why am I saying so? Because when I zoom out, what can we see? We can see this. Let's see. It's the plane within this range here, within this channel. So looking at the monthly time frame, I'm expecting it to push up. like this because currently if you look at what is happening it is at a strong level of of support it's at a good level of support now it's at a good level of support so now we can go down to the weekly time frame and see what we have this is what i'm talking about you see it's deep playing within this channel we can see the channel came up, bounce off, pull back, bounce off, came down, bounce off, came down here. Now it is going up. 
so looking at this we're expecting it to push up here before we can have what a massive drop again to the downside mm. and looking at what is happening now currently it is it is at a good level of what support here it's at the good level of support okay now let's go down to our daily time frame to see what I'm talking about clearly okay see look at look look at it on the daily time frame this is what we're seeing on the daily time frame and on our daily time frame if we do this I'm sorry about that on the daily time frame if we do this uh, if we do something like this you also notice that it is also currently at the touch of our trend line. Why am I saying the touch of trend line? If you look at price respected it from here, price respected it again from here, this is a zone. So this is this is a zone. So if I double this trend line, you also notice that price respected it from here, and now it is currently at this point. Price is also respecting it at this point. And if you look at where it is now, you notice that this level also is a strong level of what support. Look at what happened here. Price bounce off, price bounce off, price resisted here, price resisted here, price bounce off here, price resisted here. So if you keep looking, you see price bounce up from here price resisted here and went down so if you are, if you keep looking you also notice that this level is currently a strong level of support this level is currently a strong level of support the person who even told me that he wants me to break this down is not with us yet okay now you notice that, you notice that Currently, price is at what a strong level of what support right at the moment. You know, here at Ryan Forex, we deal with these levels as zones. We don't deal with them as a line that we draw. We deal with them as what zones. So, price is currently at this level of support. That's a strong level of support. And if I do something like this, you also see what is happening. Let's do this. It's all about understanding price pattern and price movement. See what price is doing. You can see that price. When you keep doing this every time, every day, it looks easier and easier every time. But you still have to. Thanks. You still have to put in the work. Okay, look at what is happening here. Price is currently at a strong level of what? It is not only a daily but also a weekly level of what? Support. Support trend line. It is also at a strong level of what? Support. Right? Also a strong support level. So now, let's go down to 4 hour time frame and see what is happening. You see now, you see that the market close with uh, price already pushing to the upside. But that is not a good enough reason for us to take the trade yet. And if we do something, there is this thing I call a twilight zone, right? If you do something like this, if you also plot your trend line from here down, you also notice that price is also bouncing off at this level here. So you see all this. Look at this. Let me... Uh, Give it a different texture. Give it a different feeling. Okay, look at this. So we're actually breaking down the chart, you see. Look at here. A bounce off, a bounce off. Price break up, came down, a bounce off, went up. Now, this trend line was broken. You notice that price went up, rejected here. Came down. Price is bouncing off currently at this left strong level of support. A touch of this trend line and also a touch of this trend line here so we have a support level we have a support level we have another support level so let's see what is happening so now I can tell you 
I can say that next week we should be looking for buying opportunity here. Something like this. So I'm expecting it to go up. I'm expecting a GPP and ZD to push up. To push up. So let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, now it's a nice pattern here. Right? So I'm expecting something like this. You see, and if you look at what is happening, you also notice here that price is behaving as if it was consolidating because it looks somehow it is not like sharp shooting up here but it is moving a little bit sideways so now let's break this down let's go down to our one hour time frame and see what is currently happening here so we should see the our candle patterns behavior look at what is happening here we have a rejection we have rejections so pull back then we have a beautiful rejection here Let's look at a 15 minute and see what is happening. Price came back, rejected here again. Look at this massive candle to the upside. So we can we can clearly see that we have what? A 15 minute engulfing candle here at this level of what support. We're looking at a 15 minute engulfing candle here at this level of support. How many candles did this actually engulf? One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, engulf six candles on a 15 minute time frame. Let's look at 30 minute. On the 30 minute, we are also seeing what an engulfing candle as well. One, two, engulf this two. Let's look at 45 minute as well. 45 minute, we are also looking at what an engulfing candle. Let's look at one hour. So now, if I take this to five minute, you notice that price. Is still playing at this range here at this level right price price is still playing at this point so what we're expecting to happen is for price to go above this level because if price goes above this level that has been resisting price like this on the five minute time frame then this level now will become support so we're expecting price to push up we are expecting price from here to push up expecting price to push up so let's take it back to 30 minutes and we see what we're looking at so look at this the beautiful engulfing candle at this level of support so now we're expecting price to push up and when price is pushing up from here and price is pushing up we should be expecting like from here to somewhere here we expecting price to face some difficult times breaking off this channel here because if price breaks out of this channel this channel here you see look at this trend line look at this trend line here look at this trend line price respected price respected price respected price respected so now if we buy if it happens that we buy on Monday and price breaks out from this channel then price need to cover the space price need to cover the space so we will be going up we should be going up okay so let me also show you something i always say uh, i don't make market i don't make uh, taking a trade based on indicators right indicators they don't really tell me uh, the, the the possible direction of the market this is what happens. I do my analysis like this on uh, on our trading on the trading view without indicators. So when I'm done here, what I'm going to do is that I'm also going to open my MetaTrader 4 because I don't really like running indicators on my uh, trading view. So I'm going to open the MetaTrader 4. Then I'm going to put indicators there. The indicators that I'm putting it is not for them to determine the market direction for me. Why? Because Market direction was determined 
based on my analysis. So I've made my decision. I've seen the possible direction of the market yet here on a trading view before I'm going to insert the indicators. Reason being, being that if you put indicator, you're analyzing with indicators, the indicators might turn to what influence your decision. They can tend to influence a decision regarding the market direction. Because there are times you put an indicator, the indicator will be telling you that, okay, price will be reversing from here. Meanwhile, based on your analysis and technically on your analysis, you see a possibility of price either possibly pushing a little bit higher or a little bit lower because indicators are a little bit lagging. Okay, so now we have we are done here. Now we are done here, and I can clearly see already that okay, what I should be looking for on Monday on uh, Great British Pound and ZD is. A buying opportunity right now let me open my chat then let's insert what indicators on my chat now right okay now first of all let's do this all right this is the four hour time frame indicators mm -hmm. I like I like using a, a linear weight uh, moving average linear, I'm going to explain that, and also I like using what RSI. So now, when I look at what is happening here, bear you in mind that I've done the analysis already on trading view, so I already know what is happening. So what I'll be looking for is for what buying opportunities on Monday, where price is now prices at a good level of support, so we should be looking to buy, right? So now, when I open my chart, I look at my indicators. First of all, I look at where my RSI is. When I look at my RSI, I notice that. Let me show you something here. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Let's look at this. This is my RSI. This is price movement. Okay. Let's see what is happening. You will notice here that price is giving you what? Price is telling you that, okay, I'm still what? Falling. Price is giving us lower lows. But if you look at our RSI, RSI is giving us what? Lower highs. Price is dropping, but RSI is already what? Pushing up. Telling us what? We have what? A divergent that is plain. There is a divergent in the market. Which means that price is pushing down, but what our RSI is already telling us that okay, price will soon be reversing, price will be going up. So already now, this is the first confirmation that I have to capitalize to look for a buying opportunity here on Monday. This is the first confirmation that I have, right? Okay, now if I do this, bear you in mind I don't only confirm on one time frame, I have a lot of time frames that I confirm on. Okay, now if I do this, if I go to the daily time frame, voila, I also have another confirmation. Look at where our moving average is, right? You notice that when price got here, it bounced off, price got here, it bounced off. So now look at where our moving average is playing. Our moving average also is playing at this particular zone here that we are looking at, this support zone. So this is our dynamic what? So uh, support level, it is like that. It is like a trend line as well, in of some sort. Because if I do this, look at this. You look at, look at. Just look at this. So now our RSI is also telling me that I need to buy. I need to buy this trade. I need to buy. So sorry, our moving average is also confirming based on my analysis which means if i'm buying on monday my stop loss is going to be so just a little bit below this level somewhere here all right then i'm looking to capitalize on it all the way up so we might reach 50 50 or 40 something pips on this trade then we are looking to make more than uh, 200 pips if i'm not mistaken more than 400 pips, what am I talking about? Roughly 400 pips on this trade. So we reach like 50 pips to make 400 pips. That's a big win. That is a big win. So now, based on my analysis and what I'm seeing, 
on Great British Pound and ZD I see us buying on Monday we are buying on Monday we're going to capitalize on this buy because look at what is happening this is a very strong level of support, of support guys because look at price resisted resisted bounce off bounce off bounce off bounce off bounce off bounce off and price is there now so we are looking for price to go up a touch of trend line a touch of support trend line and if we do this as well we have done this analysis again so i'm just taking it again so those who don't know how to use trading view you can also use your chart to do this right so look at this the ryan students don't know how these levels like this are called when we have this touch a touch here, a touch here, and a touch here. We know how these levels are called in the Ryan. The Ryan students know, and we know how profitable trades are when we meet them in levels like this. So, that is my view on uh, NZD. Let's look at weekly as well. Let's look at what is happening on weekly. Look at, look at this. Also, look at this. You see, look at this. That's a strong level of support we are looking at. So now we are expecting price to push up. So this is how I analyze the market. And that is how I make use of my indicators when I'm analyzing the market. I analyze the market before putting my indicators. Right, My indicators are just there to confirm with me, to confirm my analysis, not to give me white signals. Because I get my signals from analyzing the chart just like this, without even using indicators. Price action is the key. Price action is the key. If you want to know how to trade very well, then I will tell you that price action is the key. Price action is the key. Okay, let me show you. Uh, let's look at another trade. Let's look at another trade. Maybe Euro AUD. Yeah, yes, anyway, we are still holding a sell on this trade. And it's playing very well. Playing very well. Looking at looking at this. We're still holding this, uh, a cell here and it's playing very well. And it was actually a very simple analysis though. Uh, those in the VIP group, we always do analysis like this, then we post them on the group. So if you see, let me just pull this up. Just make a little bit of breakdown of the analysis. First of all, let me start with the bigger time frame so that you guys will see how we do those things. All right. This is our time frame, weekly time frame, top down. Top down analysis is very important. This is our weekly time frame. Zoom out to make sure that what we see a bigger picture of what is happening. But bear in mind that our main focus is going to be what is happening here. This is going to be our main focus. So now, after looking at the weekly time frame, if I do something like this, like put my trend line, pull my trend line up. Right, look at this. A bounce off, a bounce off, and a bounce off. All right. Then if I do this, let me just point, let me just capitalize on the important level that I'm seeing in the market. Right, look at this bounce off here. Look at this bounce off. Then I'm also going to use, do this one here. Okay, price bounce off. I'm also going to do something here. All right, now from here, now I can move now to the daily time frame. Yeah. Now we are at the daily time frame. This is our daily time frame. Let's look at this. Okay. So what do we see happening here? How do we know that price was going to sell from here? How did we know that price was going to sell from here? It is very simple. Look at what is happening on the left side, right? Just look at this. Bounce off, bounce off, bounce off, a bounce off. A bounce off. Price rejected went up, a bounce off, bounce off. So just by looking at this, we could tell that where price was approaching was what a good level of what? resistance so we're expecting to sell from here okay now so how did we catch this by it is very simple 
very very simple okay let's do something like this guys look at i've already identified this string from down all the way up from down all the way up so let's do this a lot of people will always ask me okay now that you were looking maybe to have maybe a double top here and take a sell now that price went above it apart from the support levels resistance levels that you saw from the left what also influenced your decision on selling here we have a lot of reasons right okay let me show you something look at this pull your trend line from here all the way up just do this just pull your trend line from here all the way up Let's just look at this You see this price respected this all the way up price respected this all the way up price was playing above this trend line here all the way up then when price finally went below this level it started respecting this level keeps dropping keeps dropping it keeps dropping it keeps dropping so apart from the fact that we had this level as a strong level of resistance we also identified this trend line that was moving from here because it was a support all the way up until price went below it and it started acting like what a resistance right it started acting like a resistance and here also we're also going to take another trend line from here You also take another trend line from here all the way up so guys trend lines are extremely powerful if you master them and you know how to use them they're extremely powerful so if you want to know how to do like we do it so like this all the way up let's go down to four hour time frame there we go all right, let's look at this so much. Look at you see, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Cut it down like this. Support resistance. Support support. Now price is coming down here price is now approaching this level so what do you think is going to happen so we are predicting maybe something again like this oh if price breaks out from this level we are coming all the way down here so this is what we are looking at on this particular pair like that if price respect this level then we are going up but if price breaks up from this level then we are coming down then we are coming down so this is what we are expecting on this particular trade so we are still holding the sell though but look, based on the analysis and seeing what is happening, I'm expecting it to push further than I'm expecting price to really drop. I don't know what is happening with my laptop, but it's, it's behaving as if it is freezing. I don't know why. So now, based on my, my analysis, expecting price to come down somewhere here. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that the market is going to play like that, but that is what I'm saying. But price can equally bounce off here and go up. Price can equally bounce off here and go up. So let me see if. Uh... Emma. Big enjoyment. How to go enjoy? How 
don't know what is happening, but my system is kind of freezing. Pretty <sighs> clean. What does poor man? What is poor man doing around off? <laughs> I want an old man to die. <laughs> oh man, the... so we're expecting something like this. So guys, I was strongly suggest the last week. I remember we we did an I did a live stream on YouTube last week and I analyzed. Uh, was it week before last? And analyze uh, 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 US desire, and I told you guys that you guys should look for selling opportunities. You guys should sell. How many of you people took the sale? How many people capitalized on the sale? I can remember. And if you look at US desire, it was raining. It melted like wax. Let's look at it. I don't know. My system is freezing. I don't know what is happening. Strange, strange, strange. I don't know why it's freezing. Maybe I'm being hacked. Uh, okay, let's look at this, guys. Let's look at USD. I remember doing a live stream and I spoke of. Selling US desire. Uh, I don't know what is happening. My system is freezing. You see what is happening? Look at, just look at. It's not responding. And guys, oh, I really wanted us to do a lot today. But if this keeps on like this, then we just have to uh, stop the live stream and and try again some other time. Okay, look at this. I spoke of selling USD ZAR here last week. Touch of trend line at this level of resistance. Touch of trend line, and this was our target. We predicted with this, right? So look at what is happening now. Look at USD ZAR. See the way it's moving. Because we had to, we have to scrap this from here to predict what a possible move again to to the downside, and we can see how beautifully it is moving. All the way down. All the way down. Look at this. And the other video as well also did an analysis on uh, on USD CAT as well. On sell on USD CAT. Uh, let me see if I still have the analysis here or oh, I took it off. No, I took it off already. This was the cell that was playing all the way down. We finally hit here. Okay, guys, this reminds me if it's not freezing again, then we're going to do a, an analysis on USD CAD. It is one trade that I'm also, I'll also be looking to possibly capitalize on, on Monday, right? Okay, so looking at this, it is uh, pretty much easy to point out exactly what is happening in the market with USD CAD. With USD card as well, uh, guys. Uh, the system is still freezing. I don't know if I have to restart. These are pretty the problems we have with Windows. It behaves so funny at times. But I love I love Windows, guys. I'm not a fan of not that Mac and Mac uh, OS are not nice. Uh, uh, yes, not that Mac is not nice. They are nice, but. I like using Windows. Even when it comes to cell phones, I like Android. But I just prefer Android. Not that people using iPhones. The iPhones don't have nice phones. No, they have very, very good phones. But I just prefer Android. And I also prefer Windows from, from Mac. So. Oh, let's just see if it's going to allow us to analyze this, but if it doesn't, then we're just going to stop the video. It's freezing. Okay, guys, it's very easy. You can see you plot a trend line from here to here. Touch of trend line. Touch of trend line. If you identify where price is currently at, 
price is at a good level of what resistance support sorry so we should be expecting price to go up should be expecting price to push up uh, now this thing is I think I should just uh, see look at this so we should be looking for a possible looking for a possible buying in here Let's see because it was actually pushing up really really nice but the news came out and everything changed so it was pushing up really nice the news came out and price reverse and came back here so now you expecting price to follow its original direction which was what going up something like this something like this so we should be expecting something like this to happen right something like this okay guys the system is still freezing so i will just i'm just gonna stop the video from here the live stream from here uh, i hope uh, next time is gonna be better stop freezing so you can join us on telegram on the link below on instagram and on Insta instagram and well and enjoy our free signals and analysis signals if you want to join our vip also click on the link and we're gonna get hold of you okay guys thanks for watching stay blessed and shalom